Now, if you just bought your first piece of Moldavite and you are wondering if it's a real piece or it's maybe glass or plastic, this is going to be the easiest and the cheapest way to tell whether or not you did get scammed. All you need is a nice piece of Moldavite, at least hopefully it's a nice piece of Moldavite. You need some thin thread, this is just some brown sewing thread. You need a pen, a small piece of paper, a little plastic container, larger than your piece of moldavite, but not too large, not too heavy. You need a 10 times loop, a jeweler's loop. You can get these very cheap on eBay or AliExpress or a nice quality like this one. It's something like 20 euros on Amazon. You need a scale that is capable of weighing in grams. You need a nice scale that can go up to three digits behind a gram. This is extremely important. And lastly, you just need some water. Now, the first thing that I can recommend you to do is you take your piece of Moldavite and you're going to dip it in some water. And then when it's wet, it has a higher transparency. This way you can look through the stone without it having to be cut or faceted. But if you have a broken stone that has a really smooth piece, all you do is you dip it in some water, you use the loop, and then this is not going to show on camera, of course, and I also did not dip it, but I will post a picture hopefully. And then you're going to look for these lechetelerite inclusions as well as small little bubbles. These bubbles, they can be any shape, from round to slightly stretched or elongated. And if you can see, in combination of bubbles that are inside of the stone, not, not just on the surface, as well as these lechetelerite inclusions, and that's all you have to do. If you can find these inclusions, great. You, your piece of moldavite is already real, and you can just skip the next step. But a lot of time, when you have a smaller piece like this, it's a bit dark green on the outside. And even if you hold a strong um, light, just a second, if you take a light, you can see it's very transparent now, but it's very hard with a loop to actually see these inclusions. So this method that I'm going to show you is going to measure um, the specific gravity of Moldavite. And if this specific gravity comes out to the right number, it's a very easy test to do. You can be 100% sure that's a real piece of Moldavite without having to invest hundreds, if not thousands, on a expensive microscope to look for these inclusions. So now let's continue. Now the first thing we're going to do is turn on the scale and make sure that it is set to gram. You can see the little G, this is gram. Do not use CT or carat, you want gram. And then I have a little weight, this is a 20 gram weight, to show that the scale is well calibrated. You can put this in the center. There you go, you can see it's 20 grams. So let's take this off. And then the first thing you need is to weigh your piece of Moldavite. And always make sure to move it just a little bit. And look for these numbers so that they do not change that much. So this piece of Moldavite in grams the dry weight of the piece of Moldavite is 1.642. Alright, now we can turn off the scale. So this is the dry weight of the piece of Moldavite. Now that we have this, you can fill up the little container with some water. And make sure to not fill it all the way to the top. Next, you take your thread and you roll out 
maybe 30 centimeters. And then you use the scissor and you cut this off. And now comes, this is going to be um, difficult to show on camera because it's such a thin thread and my t uh, cell phone, it does not want to focus on it. But all you gotta do is tie it around your small piece of moldavite and make a small little knot and make sure to use as little thread as possible. And also, it's very important that you use a thin thread. Do not use rope because this is going to um, add weight to the moldavite that we just measured very accurately in the dry weight and then it will mess up the result. So just wrap it around the moldavite and make a small little knot. So now I have this little piece of moldavite attached to the um, to the thread with a little knot. And now you place the container of water on the scale and then you turn it on. This way is well um, zero out. So now it says zero gram. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take your moldavite and you're going to hold it in the water. But it needs to be completely submerged. It cannot touch the bottom or any of the sides. So it has to be um, like floating, no, no, not floating, like um, submerged in the water, but not touching the container. So here I go. And now you can see a number, it's, if I hold it very still, and, and nothing is poking out of the water, it's 0 0.6, mm, let's call it, if it fully submerged, 0 0.686. So take out a piece of moldavite, and it, one thing that's very important, if you're going to test another piece of moldavite, you need to zero out the scale, because this piece of moldavite with the thread, it will take out um, so, so, some of the water. So turn off the scale. Let me grab the pen. So now the water weight, 0 0.686. So now that we have these two numbers, the dry weight in gram, as well as the um, water weight, we can now calculate the specific gravity. And if it's a piece of fake moldavite, like glass, you're going to get a number that's somewhere like 3.15 all the way to uh, 4.20. This is a good indication that it's 100% glass. But real moldavite has a, a specific gravity of 2.40. So if you get a number like 2.39 and then like a bunch of other numbers behind it, great. If you get like 2.4 and then, then like some more numbers behind it, you're, you're never going to exactly get 2.40. But if it's really close to 2.40, it's a real piece. And the formula is extremely simple. Wait, hopefully you can see this. So we take the dry weight in gram, 1.642, and then you divide by the weight in water, 0 0.686, and then you calculate, and here you can see the number. It's almost like exactly 2.40, so this beautiful little triangle shape, Almost looks a little bit like an arrowhead, like a, um, you know, carved arrowhead. This is a 100% real piece of moldavite, all right? And you can do this test with any moldavite. It doesn't matter the size or the weight. It can be a broken piece of moldavite. It can be a faceted stone, like, like for in a ring or a necklace or something. doesn't matter. If you do this test with the loop, and you can see bubbles and the uh, special inclusions, that's great. But a lot of the times, you can use this method, all right? And to calculate the specific gravity, they actually sell machines that can do this really easy and fast. But those machines are, like, expensive. So just get some thread, a nice scale, 
and a little bit of water and you can easily calculate this yourself with every single piece of moldavite that you can possibly buy all right and now i just want to thank everyone for watching the video and i will make more moldavite videos in the future so please subscribe and like the video if you like to see more awesome moldavite content goodbye